Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another video, and today we are going to be playing Rise of Kingdoms. It is a really fun game. First off, let me give a big shout out. Thank you to Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring this video. You guys should absolutely go check out this game. I mean, sponsored videos like this help me keep my channel going and keep bringing you all the content that you guys love every single day. Not only that, but let me just say, I get lots and lots of sponsorship offers from all sorts of different games, and I turn down almost every single one of them. But I accepted this one because it's actually a really fun game, and I think that you guys are really going to like it. So let me give you an introduction to the game, as well as I have one singular goal. That is to overtake Kairos. Check this out. So Kairos and I are in an alliance together. We just started it up, and everything was just swell and dandy until I started taking a look at the member list and look at this my power the mighty Lex 6,600 power Kairos is at 35,000 what the heck did he do to get that high I'm not sure yet but in this episode I will overtake Kairos <laughs> he doesn't know this also you guys should totally come join our alliance it is the cactus bandits LXKT is the tag. You guys definitely come join us in this. But So if you want to come play with Kairos and me, join our alliance and rock it out here in Rise of Kingdoms. Be sure to download the game through the description or the pinned comment. You guys go check that out right now. Come play with us. All right, so check it out. Let me give you an overview of what this game is. And we're going to be going through some stuff uh, as we play. One of the things that I think is just amazing with this game is that you can zoom so far out. Look at over the map here. This is the map, and it is massive. Look at currently Kairos is he's making his way over to me. He's way up here. He, he's he, little lonely Kairos is way up over here. This is his um, city. I can zoom straight in and look at his city, which is pretty cool. And you can do this with any city anywhere in any kingdom. His city is fine, but if we jump back all the way over to my kingdom, mine is cooler. Mine has roads and it has a fountain. Do you have a fountain, Kairos? No, I didn't think so. Before I get into the commanders, let me just show you that you can start off with many different civilizations. I started off with Britain. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, mainly because it's a pretty cute commander right there. She's pretty cute. So I mean, I chose her, whatever. Supposedly, their racial benefits are really good too. One of the best in the game starting off, so I would recommend Britain, but there's a lot of different ones. You pick whichever one suits you the best. Rome, Germany, France, Spain, China. It, there's there's all kinds of different ones down here. Look at all these different ones. I think there's like 11 different ones you can choose from, which is pretty cool. And not only do they have different abilities and you can shape the way you want to play by choosing whichever civilization you want, but also their buildings look different too. So your kingdom will look like, you know, the kingdom of whatever empire that you've chosen to start off with, which is pretty cool. So let's hop over to commanders because this is a big part of the game. You're going to be going out and you're going to be attacking barbarians and other players and other players' kingdoms as well. As well as once you join alliances, you can engage in these massive wars that are just crazy. You can form alliances, you can break them. It's just, it's, the scale of this game is epic. So currently right now, I've saved up enough sculptures that I can unlock Minamoto here. So we're going to do that. We're going to summon him up. He looks pretty, he looks pretty awesome. I got to say, I'm kind of scared of him. Nice. So check this out. That instantly gave me like 4,000 power. I got to get all the way up to 35,000 to get over Kairos though. So let's start some of these other buildings upgrading as well. Kairos wants help. Of course he does. All right, that's fine. I'll help him. It's always good to help your alliance members. Even if you are trying to best them, it makes your alliance stronger. So we'll go with that. Now, in your building right here, not only can you make it look cool, also, I just noticed, it's nighttime. They're actually, it cycles day and night, which is really cool. Um... The world is so massive. I mean, this world, look, you can see up here on the right hand, this is the map up there. It's so massive, and you can zoom all the way down. It's like seamless zoom throughout the entire map, which is really cool. So if you want to go over to this guy, he hasn't named himself yet. Come on, noob. Name yourself, Governor 26743828. But you can check out his roads. His, his may be better than mine, but it, it doesn't look as cool. He does not have a fountain. That's all you need. Confession, I spent like 2,000 gems for that fountain. I don't care. It made it look cool. <laughs> all right, we're, we're just going to gem through this stuff. We're going to just gem up a bunch of stuff because, again, Kairos must go down. Uh, this is absolutely not the most efficient way to do this or the cheapest. You could do all this for free because this game is 100% free to play. You do not have to spend any money in the game. I've just got a mission, so we're just going to do this because... You know, that's what we do. So that was just increasing my cities, you know, like all the production and the resources, which is great. However, it's not increasing my power any. So I wonder if I upgrade the walls or the watchtower. Yes, you can defend your kingdom with the walls and the watchtower. Let's see if, okay, I can't do it there. I got to have a wall first upgraded. Okay. Let's do this. Does this increase? It does. I saw the power move up. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Let's get the watchtower as well. Yes. It didn't do it very much though. 
Let's see. Let's get to training our armies. Our armies back here, they're sitting there doing nothing, which is not what you want. You definitely want your your armies always training nonstop. There's no reason not to have them training. So let's get them going right here. So our next part in our main quest is to start some technology research, which is also a big part of the game. Um, so let's go over here. Now, I think I'd rather get into military technology. So let's start off with military discipline. You know what, we're gonna go instant. We're just gonna go instant. It gave us some power. You know, again, you don't have to, but I feel like military, I wanna, the kind of style I wanna play is just really aggressive, attacking barbarians, attacking other cities and that sort of thing. So military technology seems like the way to go. Let's go with, um, hmm, flaming pro oh, horsemanship. Let's just start our, our horsemanship research. Let's ask for some help. Let's see if Kairos helps me. Now, speaking of our military, since we're just upgrading them, you can go out and you can battle others. So let's search for some barbarians. So here's here's one, here's one rub. I see the level four barbarians. I could attack them. However, with this game, all of the attacking and defending is like seamless where you can like join in. Like if you saw your buddy getting attacked and you saw it, you could move your troops and you could assist him on the spot and you could surround the other people that are attacking him. And so I don't know if the other barbarians are going to attack me. Let's just find out what happens. Let's get our troops here. Let's get in here and let's see. I can take these barbarians. I think no problem. However, the other two level sevens, I'm not sure, man. This is this might be a little bit dicey. Also, attacking barbarians and collecting their resources is one of the best way to gain resources, especially early on in the game. Um, you can see they're battling it out. I don't see the other barbarians joining in on the fight. They see me. They're like, that's the mighty Lex. We want no part of that. Uh, so we're just going to just completely obliterate this poor level four barbarian. He got smashed. And we get some rewards. This is also cool. It tells you a little log of your battle and how it went. And see how many... I had 28 people severely wounded, but nobody died. Nobody died. We utterly smashed those barbarians, though, so that's good. Let's go back to our home in your hospital right here. You got some sick people. They got wounded in battle. You got to heal them. So we're going to heal them up. It's only going to take three seconds because there's not very many were wounded. Uh, so that's good. If we jump back out here, can we fight anybody? Can we go level five? Can we kill level five barbarians? They're right there. They're hanging out by my house. Y'all need to get away from the mighty Lex and the cactus bandits. So we're going to go for it here. Oh, we got to get new troops here. Boom. March it up. Go for it. Just right outside my doorstep. They were eyeing me. They, they wanted a piece of my fountain. They probably wanted to come swim in my fountain. No swimming for you. You guys get out of here. Okay. Look at the fireball dropping a no no I didn't mean no I'm sorry I moved them you can move them during battle and you can like reposition yourself this is pretty cool but no just go back in there he thought we were retreating no we're not retreating we smashed you two again come back over here we killed them oh we got a new talent point let's move down further into this right here defense of all troops upgrade that one more time another way you can upgrade your commanders which is extremely important is by using your tomes now i've got a bunch of tomes that i got again just from completing missions doing uh side quests attacking things you get these tomes of knowledge so we're going to use a bunch of these because why not we need to use them we want to upgrade her i think this is going to increase my power a bunch plus I hear tell she is like one of the best commanders. I've got her all the way up to level 9 now, which is going to give me a lot more talent points, which is great. Again, I'm working towards getting to Burning Blood, so let's go ahead and do that right there. We can move on over. Now we've got Burning Blood upgraded to level 3. That is really great. Look at that power score. Oh yeah, I'm coming after you, Kairos. Now I told you about exploring. Of course, this map is massive, right? And so you have to explore. Now. Everywhere that it's no more fog, that is where I've explored already. I actually started off way down here, and I moved over here because it just looked like a cool spot to move into, right, right over here. So I'm like, you know what, let's, let's move over here. But we need to explore some, oh, some nice water over there. We're going to explore that right over there. Send him. Now, also, when you, you can pass by these, like, caves. There's a mysterious cave. It's got some treasure. Let's investigate. Let's send our scout over there first. I don't know what got into this horse, but it's ridiculously flat, fast. I... Like, my house is 10 kilometers back here. Look at this guy. He's already, it's like 12, 30. This guy can ride him a kilometer like every two seconds. He's investigating. What's he going to find in this right here? What is going to be in it? I got a sculpture and 40,000 wood. That's not bad for just a little cave that didn't take anything. Another cool thing about the game is that you can move anywhere. So if you start up a game, you can actually teleport right next to me, which is what Kairos just did. He just moved in right there. Now me and Kairos are right next to each other and my power level is growing. 
It's growing stronger. Uh-huh. I'm almost there. I started off at 6,000. I'm up to 19,000 now. Now, these worlds are massive. All of these are different servers. I mean, guys, look at the amount of stuff. Let's just go look at another kingdom just to see what something else looks like. I'm in a brand new kingdom that we're just now getting started. But these guys over here, Rivendell, I'm taking a look at. These guys, if you see all the purple markings, that's their alliance territory. Sorry, they've got alliances and whatnot, and you can show, and you can, like, obviously go up against other people. Ours is not nothing like this yet. It's just getting started, which is a good reason for you guys to come in and come play with me and Kairos right now. We're just in, we're getting started. We're on the ground level over here in our kingdom. Boom. Me and KT right next to each other. We're going to, we're going to build an empire that will rule the world or at least our little tiny section. Whatever the case. So there are a couple different ways that you can get commanders in the game. You start off with your starting commander, which is, for mine is Boudicca. Yeah, you're looking good. But um, you can also come in here and you can open up chests. Now, chests, you get a free one, a free golden chest every three days. Uh, free treasure chests, silver chests, you get, you know, like three a day. And those can be pretty darn cool. So if we open one up, it'll give you some stuff. You Normally, you're going to collect, you know, sculptures and that sort of thing. Some speed ups and some food. However, you can get... Look at it. I got two epic sculptures out of that. That's pretty awesome. Now, I've got a lot of keys, so we're going to churn through these, see if we can uh, get some cool stuff, because we want to upgrade our um, commanders even more. Of course, you can upgrade them more just by battling, but we're going to keep opening up these, because we're just going all in right here. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a new commander, Centurion. He's advanced. He's looking pretty good. He's actually looking a little confused. He's got his map out or his to-do list. He's like, huh, not sure what to do. I'll tell you what to do. You're going to get into my kingdom and you're going to help me overtake Kairos. However, we still have a bunch of golden keys. The big boys right here. We're going all in. We're making it rain. Oh, look at, we got another, man, we're just cleaning up right now. She looks really, she's got an archer, versatility, archer attack. I love it. Boom, look at this. I've got myself a Roman commander. That word, Byzantium, Byzantium, I don't know. <laughs> and I can't even say this guy's name either. Belisaurus, I don't know, it sounds like a dinosaur. I didn't say it right, I'm sure. Making it rain, making it rain on these boxes. Oh, she's now an epic, so I guess you can level them up straight for this way as well. Nice. Okay, Boudica, you got some... You got some competition because Sarka here, she's looking pretty nice. So I can upgrade this skill here again. Let's do that. She's now at level three for that commander, which is great because her commander power is going up, which means my power is going up. So once they've reached the max on their level, you have to upgrade their star level. So we're going to upgrade some star levels here. Very nicely done. That means I can upgrade her to a maximum of level 20 now and she gets a new skill. That's pretty awesome. So her talents over here, I've got one more talent point. I think the other one I was really wanting to get here, was it all for one? I believe it was. We're just dropping all these tomes on her because she's awesome. I don't know if this is the most, the smartest thing to do. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, have we done it? Have we passed him? Have we passed the Kairos third? He's been playing since I have as well. I'm gonna show Kairos the, my battle prowess. March. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. These guys never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. That's what I thought. You guys got smashed. My legendary commander here. Let's give. Let's show him some love. Let's level him up quite a ways. Bringing him up to level three. I am just rolling through these. I am making him so strong. Three star level. Level 19. That has got to be worth some power. 43,000. Where are you at, Kairos? You're not at 43,000. I'll tell you what that is right there. It looks like the mighty Lex has overtaken Kairos, and that's the way it's going to stay. Now, the question is, are you going to be able to come into our alliance and be even better than me and Kairos? I don't know if you got it in you, but I sure would like to find out. So be sure to come and join us in Rise of Kingdoms. Be sure to join through the link in the description or the pinned comment. Again, thank you so much to Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring this video. This game is a ton of fun, guys. The graphics, the gameplay, the massive wars, the alliances, having fun with your friends, just chatting up. It's, it's a lot of fun. You guys definitely come join us. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.